In CMS, navigate to the alarm page to access the alarm and diagnosis page. Alarms and events are distinguished clearly and providing analysis and diagnostic features. Real-time alarm page displays real-time alarm information in a list format. Information such as alarm name, note, level, alarm source, alarm source type, group, and current status is visible. Click details to view more detailed information. Filtering options are available to filter existing alarm information based on group, alarm source type, alarm source, on ID, alarm name, alarm level, status, and receiving time. Similarly, the real-time event page presents real-time device events and their details in a list format, supporting quick retrieval of needed information through filtering. Navigate to alarm analysis to access device information, fault cause speculation, and other details useful for troubleshooting by operations personnel. Move to diagnose for alarm diagnosis. Searching for ONU or OLT via SN or MAC to perform alarm diagnosis on specified devices. For demonstration, let's move back to real-time alarm page. Choose a specific ONU from the alarm information for diagnosis. Step 1. User reporting fault. Paste the SN. Click search to view specific information about the target ONU. Basic diagnostic functions like ping, trusset, download test, and upload test are available. Note. Offline devices cannot undergo fault diagnosis. Choose another device for demonstration. Step 2. Locating fault. CMS automatically conducts itemized checks based on common fault causes and related services. Various possible fault causes are presented. You can see that RX is out of a reasonable range, and a red notice is displayed below. Analysis is still in progress, please wait a moment. After analysis completion, all notices are displayed. You can see that all LANG ports are unconnected, the HCP is not enabled, and the VOIP server address is empty. Step 3. Repairing fault. Based on the diagnosed issues, the system provides a quick path to investigate and fix the problem. Options include restoring to factory settings, rebooting, modifying device parameters, backing up configurations, performing upgrades, etc. For example, check LAN port configurations based on the diagnostic information provided in the previous step. Navigate to the WAN configuration page, click Edit to make modifications.